I want to tell you about my favorite coat. This video is not sponsored. It's from Max Mara and it's the Manuela coat. I bought one in black last year and immediately fell in love. If you've been watching my channel, you have probably seen me wearing it because it was literally my most worn clothing item over the past year. So this year I decided to buy one in a different color so that I could alternate between them. Because honestly, the black coat I got was so nice that whenever I tried wearing a different coat to change things up, I simply couldn't because every other coat I own felt like a downgrade. <laughs> so the only solution for me was to get the same one in a different color. So a few days later, I got the coat delivered. I was so excited. And there it was! For my second coat, I chose another classic color. It's the camel color. The coat is actually 100% camel wool. The quality is so nice. The stitching is done beautifully. This is the back. Here's the belt. It has these tiny belt loops. They seem very gentle, but so far I had no problem with them. In contrast, here's a close-up of the black coat. It looks kind of gray here, but it is completely black. Alright, so I have both coats here. They are the exact same model, the exact same size. The only difference, in my opinion, is that the black one seems to be a bit heavier and more rigid. And that is because they are both made out of camel wool. And while this one is the original camel wool color, this one was dyed black. So it essentially has a whole additional layer of black dye that makes it heavier and more rigid. Let's try them on. So first let's try on this one. I really like how the inside is this shiny material. I think it's viscose, but it might be silk. I'm gonna check it out and I'm gonna put it here on the screen. Let's try it on. Look how beautiful it is. I really like how it flows when I walk. It's so soft and it just feels so nice. Absolutely gorgeous. So in the back we have the belt and then we have pockets, super comfortable. And now let's try this one. I think it's going to be a bit more difficult to see because I'm wearing all black, but we'll try. So this one, again, absolutely gorgeous. It still flows very nicely. It's just a bit heavier. Um, yeah, absolutely beautiful. I love this coat so much. So again, we have the belt, we have pockets. So this one is actually pretty funny because it kind of gives Professor Snape vibes when I walk, especially when I walk fast, which I usually do. I actually have both boxes to compare. So the box on the left is the one I got the black coat in. The white one on the right is what the camel one came in. The reason they had this festive box is that they were actually celebrating the brand's 70th anniversary. It was founded in 1951. I bought the coat in 2021. The meaning behind these animals is that they represent either the materials the coats are made of or the names of the styles. Going left to right, the camel represents the camel wool they use. The teddy represents one of their iconic models called the teddy coat. The alpaca represents the alpaca wool they often use. And the one on the right, I think it's a goat, which would make sense because they have cashmere or cashmere blend coats. And I just looked it up and found out that most cashmere comes from goats in the Gobi Desert. The more you know. If you're watching this video, you're probably considering buying this coat yourself, so it might be useful if I tell you about my reasoning for buying not one, but two of these. I was looking to invest in a really nice coat, 
It had to be of good quality, warm, and of a timeless design so that I can keep it for years to come. I had previously never bought any luxury fashion items and I was not even aiming at buying a luxury coat. So I started looking into coats and the selection was overwhelming. Every brand, every price range, every design. Now I like doing research and I hate buying things just to later be disappointed, especially if I'm spending a lot of money. I like classic items, foolproof, been around for decades, people continue to buy them for a reason. So I started looking for most iconic coat, best designer coats for winter, and the Max Mara brand kept coming up. So I learned that they have a line of their iconic coats. Each one is a bit different in terms of style and fabric composition. The Manuela coat was exactly what I was looking for in terms of style, but I still went into the store to try them on. I tried the Manuela, the Teddy, and the 101801. I'm not sure what's the correct way of saying the number. These were the three that I considered and my visit to the store reaffirmed that the Manuela is the one I wanna go for. I took a few days to decide before ordering it online because the price seemed astronomical. And while I was fortunately in a position where I could buy it, my motto in shopping is just because you can buy something doesn't mean you should. <laughs> so I evaluated it and eventually I came to the conclusion that while this is a lot more than I initially planned to spend on a coat, I do know exactly what I'm getting. This brand is known for their coats, the reviews I saw were overwhelmingly positive, and on top of everything, I just genuinely liked how it fit and looked on me. So I went for it, I bought it, and oh my god, the second I tried it on, I was like, I'm never taking it off. <laughs> And that's why I got the same one in a different color, because I genuinely want to alternate between them. And the only way I would alternate is if they are of the same quality, because everything else I own felt like a downgrade. By the way, for reference, last year was the first winter I had it, and I spent time in Amsterdam, London, Milan, Paris, and New York. And the weather everywhere at the time of my visit ranged between about minus 4 Celsius to like plus 11. So for this type of temperature, it was perfect. If it's on the colder end of this range, of course, add some layers underneath, but overall it works fine in this type of climate. I cannot tell you how it would perform in a much colder weather because I have not tried it in colder climates yet. But if you're watching this video a couple years after I posted it, feel free to ask me in the comments and maybe I have an update for you. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you later.